Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I hope you all are fine and staying safe and happy. I am your science teacher, Ms. Farheen, and I welcome you all to your science class. My dear students, as you know that we are on chapter number two, ecosystem, and today is its review. So we will revise the whole chapter and after that I will give you an assessment. But before that, let's recap what we did in the previous lecture. For that, you have to answer a few questions. Quickly tell me what are the ways to preserve an ecosystem. Control of population, control pollution, deforestation, air pollution, water pollution, over hunting. So this is how and plant more trees. This is how we can uh, preserve the ecosystem. So what should we do to preserve our ecosystem? What should we do to preserve our ecosystem? We should control pollution because individual level we have a lot of pollution to control individual level. So we should restrict our pollution to individual level. So we should restrict our pollution to individual level. So we should restrict our pollution to individual level. So we should restrict our pollution to individual level. So we should restrict our pollution to individual level. So we should restrict our pollution to individual level. So we should restrict our pollution to individual level. So we should restrict our pollution to individual level. So we should restrict our pollution to individual level. So we should restrict our pollution to individual level. So we should restrict our pollution to individual level. So we should restrict our pollution to individual level. जो है डिफॉरेस्टेशन को रोकने से ही हम लोग नेचुरल इकोसिस्टम को प्रिजर्व कर सकते हैं सो नाउ लेट्स लुक आउट लुक एट ऑल द इस्लामिक प्रस्पेक्टिव्स ऑफ दिस चैप्टर दैट वी हैव कवर्ड सो एंड नो एंड डू नो मिसचीफ ऑन द अर्थ आफ्टर इट हैज बीन सेट इन ऑर्डर दैट विल बी बेस्ट फॉर यू इफ ये हैव फेथ and the earth we spread it out and cast their in firmly set mountains and made grow their in of every beautiful kind so my dear students these are all the student learning outcomes that we have covered in chapter number 2 now one by one we will review each student learning outcome with its reading page so here you can see on page number 26 we discussed about the ecosystem so the first slo was uh, recognize what is an ecosystem forest ponds rivers grassland and desert so pehle chapter mein humne forest aur uh, river ecosystem ko dekha tha ke kaise jo hai wo different jo hai ecosystems bante hain these are basically the relationships between the surrounding habitat लिविंग थिंग्स एंड नॉन लिविंग थिंग्स जब भी कंबाइंड हो जाती हैं जो इनका इंटरेक्शन होता है दैट मेकअप एन इको सिस्टम एक इको सिस्टम जो है वो फॉरेस्ट जितना बड़ा भी हो सकता है और ये एक ट्री जितना छोटा भी हो सकता है एक बड़े इको सिस्टम के अंदर बहुत सारे छोटे छोटे इको सिस्टम भी हो सकते हैं सो वट इज एन इको सिस्टम इट इज एन इंटरेक्शन बिटवीन द एनवायरमेंट एंड द लिविंग थिंग्स एंड नॉन लिविंग थिंग्स दैट इज कॉल्ड दैट मेक्स अप एन इको सिस्टम वट आर द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ इको सिस्टम forest ponds rivers grassland and desert are the different types of ecosystem so what are the features of different ecosystems for their inhabitants so ek ecosystem ke andar jo hai wo food shelter uh, security jo hai wo uh, tamam jo uske inhabitants hai unke liye honi chahiye so my dear students and uh, we discuss about pond desert and grassland ecosystem what are the different types of animals and plants that live there and then we discussed about the different factors of ecosystem like biotic and abiotic factors so explain biotic um factors which are plants and animals and abiotic factors like light temperature soil water and their linkages so quickly tell me what are the factors that influence ecosystem kaun kaun se factors hain jo ek ecosystem ko influence karte hain they are the biotic and abiotic factors then what are the biotic factors and their division in which type of groups so the biotic factors are the plant and animals plants are the producers and animals are the consumers so what are the abiotic factors and how they influence an ecosystem so the abiotic factors are the temperature light air water sunlight these are all the abiotic or non living factors of an ecosystem and how they um influence an ecosystem that uh, together with the uh, plants and animals uh, together they uh, uh, make up and make up a balanced ecosystem so next we discussed about on page number 29 we discussed about all analyze, analyze the way these biotic and abiotic constituents create a balance to sustain an ecosystem तो कैसे जो है बायोटिक और ए बायोटिक के अंदर क्या रिलेशनशिप होता है जैसे कि जिससे ये एक इकोसिस्टम को बनाते हैं और उसके अंदर एक बैलेंस जो है वो सस्टेन करते हैं इनके दरमियान मुख्तलिफ इंटरेक्शन होती हैं तो क्विकली टेल मी 
interactions among biotic and abiotic factors to balance an ecosystem and different interactions between plants and animals. So plants and animals के दरमियान different interactions होती हैं, biotic और abiotic factors के दरमियान different interactions होती हैं, which make a balanced ecosystem. So the plants and animals के दरमियान commensalism, antagonism और mutualism जैसी जो हैं वो interactions होती हैं, which make up a balanced ecosystem. Next we discussed about balance in the ecosystem. जब हर चीज जो है वो ecosystem में balance होती है, तभी जो है एक balance जो है वो ecosystem बनता है. There are different food chains in an ecosystem. Which make up a balanced ecosystem. कोई भी चीज अगर ज़्यादा या कम हो जाएगी तो ecosystem जो है वो disturb हो जाएगा. How organisms interact in food-based interaction through food chains. Okay, and next we discussed about different types of food chains जो है वो हमने discuss की थी. जिसके अंदर जो है वो प्लांट्स जो हैं दे आर ऑलवेज द प्रोड्यूसर्स देन वी हैव प्राइमरी सेकेंडरी टर्चरी एंड क्वार्टरी कंज्यूमर्स वी आल्सो डिस्कस्ड अबाउट प्रेडेटर्स एंड द प्रेज देन वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द कंपटीशन इन एन इकोसिस्टम कैसे जो हैं वो डिफरेंट एनिमल्स जो हैं वो कंपीट करते हैं इंट्रा एंड इंटर स्पेसिफिक जो है वो कॉम्पिटिशन होते हैं इनके दरमियान में जिसकी वजह से जो है एक बैलेंस इको जो है वो बनता है And then we discussed about the human activities which affect the food chain. कैसे जो है different human activities जो हैं वो एक food chain को जो है वो affect करती हैं like urbanization, deforestation, water pollution, air pollution and land pollution. These activities have great impact on ecosystem which is destroying the natural different food chains and natural ecosystem. And then how we can preserve the ecosystem? We discussed that. What are the different ways for the preservation of ecosystem? That is control in population, pollution, deforestation, planting more and more trees, uh, and stop overhunting. That is how we can preserve the ecosystem, different ecosystems. So, my dear students, um, now is the time for practice. For practice, you can download this worksheet from the description box below this video, or you can get it in print form by your teacher. So, this is an evaluation assessment worksheet. Uh, and what you need to do is look at the picture given and answer the following questions. आपको यहाँ एक pond have ecosystem दिखाया गया है और आपको questions को answer करना है. Name some biotic factors that you might see in local pond, meadow and ecosystem. ठीक है? यहाँ जितने भी आपको biotic factors नजर आ रहे हैं आपने उनके naming करनी है. Describe some ways these organisms might interact with each other. अब आपको ये बताना है कि कैसे जो यहाँ पर different biotic factors हैं वो एक दूसरे के साथ जो है वो interact कर रहे हैं. Name some abiotic non-living factors here. अब आपको यहाँ जितने जो भी abiotic factors हैं, non-living factors हैं, उनको naming करनी है. Then question number four, describe some ways living organisms might interact with non-living parts of the environment. अब आपको उसके बाद ये बताना है कि कैसे biotic factors जो हैं, वो non जो abiotic factors हैं, उनके साथ interact करते हैं to make up an ecosystem. आपको few interactions बतानी हैं. Next is draw the arrow in the right um, direction and complete the small food chain. Here is a food chain given. Aapko right direction mein arrows lagane hai taake aap food chain ko complete kar sake. Then write the names of the given ecosystems. Here are some pictures of different ecosystems. Write name under each ecosystem. So my dear students, you will pause the video, complete the worksheet and submit it to your teacher for grading. I hope you have finished it. Now we will move forward towards your homework. For homework, discuss with your parents about difference, different human activities that affect ecosystem and the ways to avoid these activities. So my dear students, आपको अपने parents के साथ different जो human activities हैं, जो ecosystem को destroy कर रही हैं, उनके बारे में discussion करनी है और कैसे आप अपने ecosystem को preserve कर सकते हैं, आपको वो भी discuss करना है. So my dear students, in this unit we have learned about many things. Now all the students are able to identify different food chains and the role of organisms in the food chain. And they are now able to recognize uh, the competition of organisms in an ecosystem. And they are able to identify human activities that affect the food chain. And they are also able to identify ways to preserve an ecosystem. So my dear students, we have different food chains, ecosystems, 
और उन प्रिजर्व कैसे करना चाहिए इनको डिफरेंट कॉम्पिटिशन जो हैं डिफरेंट रिलेशन जो हैं बायोटेक और ए बायोटेक फैक्टर्स के हमने इस यूनिट में कवर किए हैं आई होप यू हैव इन्जॉयड दैम कीप एवरीबडी अराउंड यू सेफ हैव अ गुड डे थैंक यू सो मच एंड अल्लाह हाफिज़